GovSat-1 is basically a dual mission satellite, so it has two prime missions. One is a military K band mission, and the next one is a, an expand uh, mission. It will provide secure communication services towards our users, which can be found in the defense environment and the civilian security type usage. GovSat is the first public-private venture, actually, that operates um, satellite communication services in governmental frequencies. It's been set up between uh, two shareholders as a public-private venture. On one end, it's SES providing the technical competences into the company. And on the other side, it's the Luxembourg government who has the ambitions to develop a new proposition in defense communication services. We have a number of security capabilities on the satellite. This includes anti-jamming, for instance. It also includes telemetry and control encryption. Overall, we provide a total capacity equivalent to roughly 68 transponders. GovSA 1 features a total of six uh, steerable beams that can be either operated in military K band or in X-band. It also has a global wide beam operated in X-band. The government is providing access to these governmental frequencies and the government also provides the necessary stability, the trust for us and for partners and users that we are targeting. GovSat-1 is a Geostar 3 type satellite. From a bus point of view, it's a fairly conventional spacecraft. It's a biprop of spacecraft. It weighs around about four tons and it has a payload of around about 4.8 kilowatts. It'll be positioned at 21.5 degrees east. GovSat-1 will provide an extensive level of communication services to a very wide geographic area. It covers Europe, it covers the African region, and it covers the Middle East region with the adjacent oceans. This is a super exciting project. It's a project that shows really how through entrepreneurship we can make a difference.